well it's agnes coming to you with just very simple ingredients to my craft i do have some twigs from the yard obviously i have the uh, uh waverly uh, brown wax and i do have the uh, dollar tree tart pan that had a little rust on it so i'm embracing it <laughs> by trying to create um some kind of the old effect to it verse painting it over and scrubbing and doing all this so i am not going to use the cinnamon as everybody else is using i'm just trying to get that old look um to my um to my uh a pop pan oh my goodness so i am i just first added the coat of the wax and i slightly gently wiped it off and now i'm just dabbing that wax um back on my um uh, pan and then i'm going to not wipe not wipe it like with the uh you know motion of going from left and right i'm tapping it too because that's what i do want it to actually have that um sort of like a tapping and you know very natural looking uh look so i i'm getting there as you can see is i do have a little darker highlights in the corners some dark you know areas where most likely my rust originally was and um of course i need to quickly dry it because i do need to go to another step and another step here is and I should have actually do it from the beginning um, was before I started to go with the wax. It's actually mixing my baking soda with the chalk paint. So now I'm doing it again. I'm dabbing it all around my dish and dabbing it more with the paper towels. I'm trying to, again, keep the dabbing motion uh, more than I am uh, keeping the, uh, the, the, uh, the wiping motion. Some areas I do want it to wipe because obviously I'm creating right now a little texture to it. Versus obviously this is how most of you are using, uh, using the, uh, the cinnamon to do it. So now I go back. I know there is a lot of little steps in there, but again, Again, it's up to you what you wanted to do if you do wanted to use the wax I mean wax like I am doing right now of course but um, if you if you are you know better off with cinnamon then you go ahead and use your cinnamon I like to dab I like to experiment and see what I can where I can get with all this so see those little imperfections right there I'm adding literally layers on the top of the layers so I think now all what I need to do is just uh, make sure obviously after it dried a little bit that everything look look how nice it looks it does look old super old and you know what of course because of the uh, um, video purposes I do I am actually trying to quickly um, make my pot um, a little bit warmer so the wax heats up a little bit faster so now I'm bringing my uh, clear white wax and I'm just going to do the same thing I'm going to dab it and I'm hoping that whatever um, you know it's there is going to get picked up by the w white wax and it's going to you know seal in place all what I've just done all those layers and now look what happens little by little um, the plate has that little hue that's being distributed throughout the bristles all over love 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 what I see but then of course now I need to bring a tiny brush and add a little bit of a darker wax to a, you know some areas not everywhere maybe on some edges but not all around and it's again you feel uh, yourself and try to see what you're going to go after overall I do want it to have an old look, but I do not want to have it too dark. Okay, so I think I'm liking it, and I think I'm going to bring a little bit of my um, gold later. But in the meantime, I'm going to let it dry because wax takes a little time. And, and I guarantee you, a couple hours later from now, it's going to look better. So now my goal here is to use the twigs that I had, that I have the tree. Remember, I've been telling you about this tree. I absolutely love it. I had to jump to uh, get some twigs from that tree um, since I've been using it for so many years. Um, so now I'm trying to form a reef and uh, it is actually, I wish that I did have a pine piece. Obviously, if you do have it around your house, then you go ahead and use that. It will be for sure easier. But I'm just literally getting my um, getting my the uh, um, wire, and I'm just trying to wrap in some areas um, my twigs that I picked up to make sure that they are forming some kind of a nice united uh, reef. 
Of course, as with everything, I do want my reef uh, to be on the bulkier side and be a little bit on the fuller side. And of course, you know, there are a million ways, ways of creating that um, little circle out of the twigs that you have around. But you know what? This is my way. <laughs> I wanted to use everything that I just was able to catch as I jumped <laughs> from my tree. So here we go. I'm connecting the little pieces and then I'm just going to build up with whatever I have. And I think it's good but the good idea would have been for me to actually check if i do ha oh here we go i'm checking oh i made it too big of a reef i do want it to shrink it now so it's actually even better so that's actually a good idea agnes to check your surface you're putting your tiny reef on so here we go i'm going pull it twist it tie wrap and do all this stuff and of course try to make it look as good as i can with obviously showing that this is not a reef not just a clump of the uh, branches that i picked up so it's getting better see it's all about wrapping and twisting and all that but it's again if you do have your uh, pine um, tree nearby well that will be much faster or you can use the artificial one it's up to you so i think i like it so i just need to form it squeeze it because i do want it to see my hard work i've done on that plate so here we go final touches i'm just going to seal it all up with the uh the white wax i'm going to add a little bit of my gilding gold wax to the edges and i will most likely go wild with it because you know me there has to be some kind of a gold hue to it and um and i'm actually thinking that i will bring a little bit of the robin buff to this whole occasion at some point because i do want it to have that sort of a punch here and there so here is the uh, uh robin buff that i'm just going to add like literally smear on some area some on the surface even though it's not going to show much but i do want it to now cover the darker wax that i've done earlier in some areas especially on the rim on the inside with that gold uh, robin buff and it's actually more controllable i think for me in this project and obviously if that would have been done over um you know time and i would have just let it dry in a normal way it would have for sure look a little bit different but you know it's the video so i gotta make it have it done okay so i'm hot gluing my little reef that i made and of course the one side is still bulky but i'm going to keep on twisting adding and you know forming and trying to make sure that all my pieces are there here we go so now i you know me i do love simple so i'm going to bring my satin bow and i'm going to tie a tiny simple bow that just droops down the uh, um, the reef laugh at me right now i'm just i created two loops i'm using the wire and then i'm going to create see how simple <laughs> obviously if you do know how to tie two loop uh, um, uh, bow you can go ahead and do so your way but um, that's the way i'm going to do it my hands are just my fingers are just too big so i am i cut a little piece from the uh the the satin ribbon and i'm just going to tie it on the back and sort of pretend that there is a knot that i supposed to do it in the first place um if i would have known and i would have been successful to have two ears of my bow tied perfectly so now i'm going to struggle to pull those tiny pieces and i did it yay obviously you do want it to cover the wire that you have there flip your um ears over there and make the bow perfect and obviously cut everything on the back because you do not want to give it away that <laughs> the bow the way you were tying the bow so i'm going to also secure it with the hot glue a little bit and um i think it will be done think it's perfect it works perfectly in there so why don't we just cut it all off twist it the right way and bring the hot glue clean up the mess from all that from my little pan and uh, hot glue it as you go at it okay here we go so i and this is what's so funny as i always craft i mean it's pretty on the bottom but then i do have a cut out so now look what happens <laughs> i'm going to twist my bow the other way around and i'm going to have a loop over my reef um going down so now i'm going to cut the dovetail and the dovetail i'm positive you all know but i do fold my ribbon in half and cut from the edges to the middle on the angle so that's what it creates and that has that little pretty uh, 
accent. Maybe one side is too long. Well, maybe I'll cut it. But either way, the reason why I've done it this way is because I do have those Dollar Tree cutouts. And I thought that project would be perfect. I mean, if when I was crafting with my mom, we were just simply living the way it was. Obviously, we didn't have no Dollar Tree. So I do not want to have it look too new. So I decided, and it's again, I'm experimenting to add my wax. First the dark one, then sort of distribute this all with the uh, uh, clear. And of course, I'm going to bring a little bit of the um, um, the, uh, the gold gilding wax. But I'm not really happy. I mean, it's good, but I think it's just too close to actual um, color of my, um, of my plate. I mean, my pot. So I added again the gilding wax. Nope, I'm still not happy. So guess what? It's change of plans now. I think I'm going to bring a little bit of the uh, chalk paint and just dry brush it all around it to make sure that my sign is lighter, but it's still on the older side. I mean, I do not want it for sure to compete with the bow that I've just created. I think I do like it much better right now when it's much lighter. I mean, now I just have to make it a little bit more darker, <laughs> but not much. So I need to quickly dry my uh, chalk paint and um, and try to maybe just bring a little bit of the uh, whatever leftovers I have on my um, on my um, edges of my brush. And of course, I'm going to bring gold versus bringing the uh, um, bringing the uh, the darker wax. And I think I like it much better. See, it's still visible, still not competing with my. Uh, with my with my rest of it so now the problem is not where do i add it well i'm going to add it right on the bottom and to tell you the truth later on as i was crafting the bottom of the sign is actually a nice stand kick plate stand for my reef so here is the reef we just created together and um it, it can be hanged obviously if you create the hook or it could stand like it stands right now for me and this is all because of that little sign down on the bottom but it's again, it's up to you. And I know I will be still looking at it when all the Christmas decoration is out. I will for sure make my decision. But now check it out, the finish of my plate. Um, straight from the Dollar Tree, spanking new plate with a little rust. Oh, and do you remember my bay leaf tree that I made with you last year? Look at this. I've actually digged it out from my uh, box. And now look how pretty it still looks. The leaves are nicely preserved. I'm telling you preserve those leaves so i really hope that you did enjoy this quick project and i am positive you do have most likely the rusty one in your house and if you did please don't forget to sprinkle talk to you later bye